In today's lesson, we are going to look at patterns. Patterns is found uh, in nature, and of course, natural patterns include like symmetries. We look at trees, look at spirals, meanders, wave, foams, tessellations, cracks, and stripes. So truly. Nature is a good example of patterns. There are what we call number patterns and object patterns. <coughs> number patterns, there are also number patterns which are usually explained in mathematics. These number patterns can be ascending, smallest to biggest, descending that means biggest to smallest multiples of a certain number base number multiplied by a factor or series of numbers even numbers odd numbers factors etc so for an arithmetic number sequence each term is obtained by adding the common difference to the previous term for a geometric number sequence each term is obtained by multiplying the common ratio to its previous term. Object patterns. The more common of the two specify the relationships between objects. In general, the purpose of an object pattern is to allow the instances of different classes to be used in the same place in a pattern. Object patterns avoid fixing the class that accomplishes a given task at a compile time. Now there are two types. There are shape patterns and letter patterns. Now shape patterns are particular sequence of shapes that are repeated in an orderly manner. The shapes used in the sequences are various 2D shapes such as circles, rectangles and squares or the images of other objects such as arrows, chocolates, spoons, stars and many other images. Letter patterns, letter patterns for instance, like the, the, the postfix it, like sight, right, fight, light, flight, uptight, or ite, like sight, right, bite, quite, kite, invite, or eight, like eight, wait, freight, tch, match, catch, hutch, butch, such, notch, botch, pitch, witch, but rich witch. In SPR, spring, sprinkle, spritz, spread, spray, and sprung. Then, of course, we also have what we call color patterns and size patterns. Color patterns and arrangement or patterns of colors or colored objects conceived as, a as forming an integrated whole. Size patterns. Size patterns are another way to help us predict what will come next. We often see size patterns in the kitchen. Items like measuring cups, drinking glasses and even plates can be arranged to make patterns using the different sizes. Often items like flour and sugar are stored in containers that can form a size pattern.